Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a sharp tools routine using smart things. In a previous video, I did a routine where I had Alexa announce activity on the porch. There has been motion detected on the front porch. In addition to the Alexa routine, there was also a sharp tools routine that I just reviewed, but I didn't go into detail to show you how that was done. How the routine works is when motion is detected on the porch, the routine triggers the porch lights at 100%, then it leaves the lights on for a period of three minutes, and then it fades the light over a 30 second period from 100% to zero. I'm gonna show you how to do that routine in detail, and that's up next. So thanks for joining me today. I want to welcome you to the channel. On this channel, I give you home automation tips and I also do home repairs. If those types of topics interest you, make sure that you click on that subscribe button. And when you subscribe, please be sure to hit that notification bell. That will help ensure that you get notice anytime I post new content on the channel. So let's talk just for a moment about the two smart devices that I use in this routine. I use a SmartThings motion sensor, and that is mounted on my front porch to detect any time motion occurs on the porch. And I also have an in-wall easy smart dimmer made by General Electric so that I can wirelessly control the lights from anywhere. The light switch is a Z-Wave Plus device and the motion sensor is a Zigbee device. As I mentioned, both are tied to my smart hub. I will leave details in the description below in case you want to source either the in-wall smart dimmer switch or the SmartThings motion sensor. Let's talk about today's routine. In this routine, which is featured in a former video, I'll leave a link up above so that you can check that video out. That video created a echo announcement indicating that there was activity on the porch whenever my front porch motion, motion sensor detected motion. Porch. In addition to the echo announcement, there was also a routine that was created in Sharp Tools that caused my front porch lights to turn on at 100% to stay on for a period of three minutes and also then to fade to off after the three minutes had expired. As I indicated in that former video, this routine was set so that it only happened after dark for a period between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. I did show that routine briefly in the former video, but I did not get into the specifics on how to set that up. So I thought it was beneficial to take some time to go into the Sharp Tools app and show you step by step how I created that routine. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our routine now. We're gonna select the Sharp Tools app. Okay, and once in Sharp Tools, you wanna to go to the three lines in the upper left-hand corner. It defaults to the dashboard. We actually wanna go into the rule engine. So we're gonna select those three lines to do that. Inside uh, this list, you'll select the third option down, which is rule engine. Okay, now I've already have this routine in here that I showed you in the last video. We're gonna go ahead and replicate that rule. So hit create rule. Okay, scroll to the top here. We're gonna call this porch motion routine. Okay, and our trigger is going to be the motion sensor on the porch. So what we want to happen is when motion is detected, we want the light to turn on, and then we want the light to stay on for a period of three minutes. And then once it's on for three minutes, assuming that there's no additional motion detected, it'll fade to off over a period of, uh, let's say, 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and add our trigger, which is the motion sensor. And this is going to be a, an event trigger, and the event is going to be activation of the device motion sensor. So go ahead and click on device. So the device we want to use is the porch sensor. 
and the trigger is going to be motion. So we'll select motion. The option, when it changes to, and the value is going to be changes to active. So we'll hit done there. So save that. And as you can see up here, our event trigger is a device. It's the porch sensor and it's triggered when motion changes to active. Okay, now for the flow. We want to execute the following activities. First thing we want to happen is a condition. The condition is going to be checking to determine the time of day. I only want the light to turn on if it's in the evening. So we're going to select time on the list. And we want the current time to be uh, between, let's say, uh, 6, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Select OK. So when current time is between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. at Bud's home, let's save that. Okay, now that we have our condition in place, then we go. To, we need to select the action. So go down to then, hit the plus sign, click on action. Our action is going to be with the front porch lights. So we have to select the front porch lights by clicking on device. And we'll choose the uh, front porch lights from the list. There they are. Hit done. And we want to set the level on the lights. And it's asking for a number. I always click on advanced at this point. You can get rid of the additional arguments. So we just want to add 100% or 100 in here and hit done. We can close these other arguments and hit save. So if we go back up, porch lights to execute command set level with the argument at 100%. All right, next we wanna put in a delay. So we want the lights to stay on for a period of three minutes as I indicated earlier. So let's select delay and we're going to put in on seconds, three minutes would be 180 seconds. So let's put in 180 and save that. All right, so we have our delay. Next, we want to fade the lights to off. So we'll select action, select the device, choose the device, which is the front porch lights. Our option is going to be fade level over time. Select that, hit done. And the from is going to be 100% to, we'll change this to zero. And we want to do that over, let's change this to seconds. Uh, let's do it. Let's leave it at 30 seconds and hit save. All right. At this point, we can save the routine. If there's no errors, it'll save. Well, let's go in and review the routine. It's at the bottom of the list. So we'll click on that. All right. This is the routine we just created. What it does, it has a trigger of porch motion on the porch motion sensor. When that changes to active, then we want to check to see the time, making sure it's between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Assuming that is true, then it will execute a command to set the lights at a level of 100%. Then it'll wait for three minutes or 180 seconds. At that point, then it will fade the porch lights from 100% to zero, and it'll do that over 30 seconds time. So everything looks good there. Let's go ahead and save that. 
and we're all done. So there you see how to set up a simple porch light routine for the evening hours whenever activity is detected on the porch. So hopefully you found that video helpful. If you did, if you give me a like, I would appreciate it. Also, if you are interested in creating these rules for your smart things, not only in Sharp Tools, but also in the Alexa app, make sure you click on that subscribe button. And when you subscribe, be sure to click on that notification bell. That will ensure that you are notified anytime I post new content on the channel. Thanks for watching today, and we'll see you next time.